Hi everybody and welcome to my panel on airbrushing sculpted cosplay wigs using specialty cosplay paint from Plat FX. These paints are perfect for airbrushing sculpted wigs because the paints are made for plastic, which the fibers are made of, and they are transfer proof and they are rub resistant. So they're not going to transfer onto your clothing throughout wear throughout the day. So when you have these wigs laying on your white shirt, they are not going to transfer at all. Um, that's perfect for like very difficult cosplay, convention, humidity, heat, all of that good stuff is going to stay on the wig, I promise you. It's best to use this technique on sculpted wigs because regular wigs um, need to be flowy and moving and when you airbrush color onto them, they are going to get a little crispy. Um, so when you are airbrushing sculpted wigs, these wigs are already styled into the position they're going to be in and they are not going to move or get crispy because they are already in the position they're going to be in. This airbrushing technique is a really good pop of color for those gradient wigs that you've either dyed yourself or you've got from online and you need a little bit of pop to them. Today I'm going to be using the Plat FX Smooth Satin and Enchanted for Pink. And I'm going to be using the Satin Smooth and Goblin Green for the green gradient below. When dyeing this wig, I wasn't able to get that vibrant lime green that Goblin Green can give me, so we're going to touch these colors up a little bit. And through the dyeing process, there was a little bit of Mm. There were some mistakes made here, so I need to make this green up a little higher and I need to bring this pink down just a tad bit on this side which will touch up with the enchanted pink. Before we get started, we're going to protect our wig head as you see. I've already wrapped a plastic bag around my wig head so that when we airbrush it, it doesn't get the wig head damaged. You can use, you can use a, a foam wig head that you don't mind getting dirty, but this is a canvas wig that we're going to cover and use over and over and over again, so we're going to protect that. I've already picked out the colors I'm going to use, so I'm going to zoom you guys in to show you the mixing process for airbrushing. The special thing about the FX paint line is that they are a flexible acrylic paint, so that we can add water to this. It is a water-based paint, so we can dilute this to make it go through our airbrush gun with water. The airbrush machine does need a very thinner consistency paint than a traditional acrylic can provide or even an oil paint. So what we can do is we can add a little bit of our enchanted color into a cup. Then we can dilute it a little bit with water so that it's of a thinner consistency to get through the nozzle of the airbrush gun. We make sure to stir this very well so that we know that all the paint is dissolved with the water. And the consistency should be of this. If I run it across the side of the bowl, you'll still see a lot of color being very sticky to the side. So we still have that, it doesn't drip down, and it's still paint, but it is it sloshes around like water. So that is perfect for the pink. We're gonna repeat the same process with our Goblin Green. And there we have it. These will be our two colors for airbrushing. So let's zoom back out to the wig and we're going to start getting our airbrush on. Okay, we're zoomed in nice and close. Where I want to start off first is with the pink color. So I really want to get the color to be about here on both sides equally. So when I was dyeing this, I didn't get both sides equally and that's where I really want to make it. And I also want to bring this pink down a little bit farther to where it has a very crisp and defined line where it needs to be. So we're going to mix it into our airbrush gun. For your standard airbrush machine, you can get some from Amazon or you can get a compressor kit here. Follow the instructions on there, typically for a, a diluted acrylic 
PSI is usually around 50 to 60 PSI, but check the gauge on your own machine because it varies from model to model. So for mine, I'm going to go to 50 PSI. I've got everything hooked up already. I'm just going to turn it on. Give a second. And fill in the color. This one has a little bit, and I have a little napkin here. There we go. And I moved the airbrush machine out of the way so we can get a little more of the wig in the frame. Um, so we're going to start by gauging where our line is going to be here. I need to get across here, so about here is where we're going to fill in this color a little bit. And it's very lightly that you press onto this. And you can see the color, especially on the back where we need to get this right here. some spaces here for where we need to clean up and make sure that all the green is covered up.
the pink just about where I want it. We have a clear line here and we're just going to clean it up with the Goblin Green now. We're going to do that next, right now, right now. So turn off your airbrush machine and into your towel. Clear out the air from the compressor. Hook on a new airbrush. I'll clean this later. We'll clean this later. We're going to insert our green color into the new airbrush. <gasps> I poured some on my hand. It's always time for cleanup. <laughs> this one doesn't have a lid, so we're going to be very, 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 very careful. As you can see, it's very liquidy, but it's very is very pigmented so we're going to be very careful actually gonna keep this on my lap so I don't want to go overboard with the green I really do want to keep some of the softness out of this wig so I'm going with all of the colors just very lightly from a distance probably about six inches away if you need to add a little color just give it a give it a one pass uh, work on another portion of it and then come back to it so that that first layer that you airbrush can dry completely so that it doesn't cake up and it actually has a uh, subtle wash of color over the color that you need. So we're going to start from the bottom here. Oh, turn the air, turn the air, uh, airbrush machine on. Now, color.
is so vivid. I don't think I could have gotten this kind of vivid green doing a traditional wig dye without the whiffs being specifically made to be this kind of lime green. So I'm very fortunate that Plaid offers this kind of a lime green because finding this in a regular acrylic color, oh, oh, almost impossible. That is the end of the airbrushing tutorial of this panel. So. I was in the comments and I still am in the comments and I'll be in the comments for a while. So if you have any questions on color recommendations, on tips and tricks, on trial and error, on any of the troubleshooting issues you may have with airbrushing wigs or anything of sculpted wigs, please let me know down below. I'll be hanging out for a while for the convention and I'm just going to be really just talking to you guys. So yeah. Thank you for showing up to my panel. Um, whether or not this was a very long one or a formative one for you. I'm glad you were here. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. I hope you like it. Should I try it on? I'll try it on. Hold on one second. Let me put it on. It should be dry now. Um, with the, the water and the acrylic, it dries fairly fast. Like it's already dry. So I'm gonna go try it. Try it on. One second. And ta-da! I am very comfortable having this laid against flat across this white robe that Mitsuri wears. And I think the colors really do pop with these plat effects paints. I could not do this with a regular acrylic paints, airbrush paints. Um, they're not all permanent and they do transfer. I'm very excited about this. This is this is a this is a game changer for next convention cycle. So um, again. Now, thank you guys for uh, coming to my panel. Uh, if you have any questions, again, I will be down below talking to you guys. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the convention. I know I am um, chilling in the comment section because I want to see a lot of what we have to offer as a community. So please stay creating, please stay uh, safe, and please stay happy. We're going to get through this, and I will see you guys in the next convention.